Ashley, come on in. You're early. I know, I know. I wanted to get a head start. It's so nice out. There's definitely going to be a bigger crowd at the farmer's market this week. OK, I'm almost ready. I just need to take my Ozempic. My husband's starting Ozempic next week. You mind showing me how you take Ozempic? I want to be able to help Sam as much as I can. Of course. I found the instructions for you simple to follow. All you need to do is prep, check, select, and inject. OK. So the first thing I do is prep my pen with a new needle. I make sure that the label on the pen matches the medicine that I was prescribed to take, and the liquid in the pen is not cloudy. See, it should be clear, like this. I see. Looks clear to me. Next, I put on a needle. Just pull off the paper tab, push it, and turn till it is on tight. Pull off the outer cap, and then the inner cap. Oh, I almost forgot. Make sure that Sam always remembers to use a new needle after each injection. He also shouldn't share needles or his Ozempic pen with others or reuse the needles because of the risk of serious infection. So since it's a new pen, I need to check the flow. So first, I turn the dose selector to the flow check symbol. Next, press and hold in the dose button until the dose counter shows zero. And the zero must line up with the dose pointer. A drop of Ozempic will appear at the needle tip. Looks good. Now it's time to select the dose. Again, all you gotta do is turn the dose selector until the dose your doctor prescribed appears in the dose counter. So last time I injected into the skin on my thigh, but you need to rotate where you inject each time. Yeah, Sam was saying you could inject into the skin on your stomach. That's right, and your upper arm too. So once you pick your spot, it's time to inject. Today, I'll be injecting into the skin on my stomach. Are you nervous about the needle at all? Uh, maybe I was in the beginning, but it's just become part of my routine. I mean, look how thin this needle is. <laughs> Good for you. So it's time to inject? It is. I just got to make sure I can see the dose counter first, and then insert the needle into the skin, press and hold the dose button until the dose counter shows zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just got to carefully remove the needle and dispose it. You can buy a sharps container or use a hard plastic bottle to throw away needles. It doesn't look bad at all. Like I said, it's part of my routine now. And if Sam has any questions about how to use the pen, he can call a health coach to get answers. Ozempic also has a text program with reminders and other tips. And there are great options for savings and support on their website. Good to know. We will definitely check that out. And remember, Sam should talk to his doctor about any side effect that bothers him or doesn't go away. OK, now let's go to the market before it gets crowded.